IGCSE Biology Syllabus Statement 270 and here we're looking to describe the structure of the nephron um, which is the functional unit of the kidney, the part that does the filtration and the controlling of the composition of blood. Previously we saw the structure of the kidney like this and here we have the aorta and the branch of the aorta taking blood into the kidney is the renal artery. The kidney of course filters the blood and the contents which are removed from the blood and excre uh, excreted are called urine. They come down this structure here called the ureter and it collects in the bladder for release. The filtered blood exits in this blood vessel here which is in fact the, I'll just write it here, the renal vein and that would in fact return to the vena cava not shown in the diagram. If we slice through the kidney to show the internal structure we see different coloured regions. The outer lighter coloured region is known as the cortex. Then we have a slightly darker inner region called the medulla or the medulla and then this lighter coloured space here this is indicating uh, as I say a space and this is known as the pelvic region not to be confused with the pelvis of the skeletal system and in this space here this is where the urine collects and drains down the ureter. The reason for the different colours is because the kidney is made up of millions of tubular structures, tubes, and we'll attempt to show how this is uh, arranged. Um, the tube starts on the edge of the medulla and moves directly upwards through the medulla and out into the cortex. It then winds a little bit like this before dipping down into the medulla again and back up. And then another short twisted section before coming to a dead end like this. The dead end structure for reference, this is what's known as the Bowman's capsule. If we look at this in more detail, we move to the next diagram, we're going to be looking at this tube structure here, which by the way is known as a nephron. So we're going to be looking at the details of this tubular structure. In this diagram here, above the dotted line is the cortex and below the dotted line is the medulla. In fact, at the end of this tube here, if we put a dotted line here, this would be the pelvic region. And it's from the end of this tube here that the urine emerges. So the tube is made up of twisted sections like this. These are the convoluted tubules here and here. This tube here is known as the collecting duct. A duct, D-U-C-T, is a tube. So if we follow from the pelvic region going up the collecting duct like this, this is a tube which then twists out here in the cortex and then dips back down into the medulla and this dip here is known as the loop of Henel which returns back to the cortex loops here again and then comes to this dead end structure here and this dead end cup shaped structure is known as the Bowman's that's an M Bowman's capsule and you can see that I've also drawn in the arrangement of the blood vessels here um, this tight knot of blood vessels is actually known as a glomerulus 
Now the first twisted section is known as the proximal convoluted tubule, so that would be PCT, proximal convoluted tubule, and the second twisted section of tubules is known as the distal convoluted tubule, DCT. It's the arrangement of this nephron structure which gives the different coloured region in the kidney. I remind you that in fact there are millions of these nephrons in a single kidney. 